So now we're going to look at how we can protect our app from being clickjacked. And clickjacking is basically trying to trick um, the user into thinking that they're looking at our site and making them enter information or click things they're not supposed to. An example of this could be um, if they put your um, site in a HTML iframe, which basically loads your um, site inside an inside a development. And what I have is an example here. So this is my main URL. But in here, what I've just done is I've created an iframe right here and I've set the source to the URL. And what if we look at the result of this page, the page looks identical to this. And this is dangerous because we can ha we could have a legitimate form in here with a legitimate su um, submit button. And this can be done for like official websites and stuff. And what they could do here is attach some invisible form elements on top of this, an invisible button on top of the actual one. And the user will think that they're on our site and enter in information and accidentally submit their information to a malicious source. So we want to make sure that this doesn't happen. And by default, any site can be presented in an iframe like this. So especially with some CSS, I managed to get the iframe to fill up the entire page. So it looks just like this. So uh, what we want to do is um, set up our page in a way that um, any request to our app, whether it's even the base route, is not allowed if it's being viewed inside an iframe and can only be viewed from the actual domain. And to do that, we have um, a helmet middleware called FrameGuard, and that's what we're going to use. Now, the first very, very important thing, um, if you want to get this challenge to pass, because they've renamed some of the methods, is um, in package.json, helmet needs to be version 2.3.0. No other versions will work for this. I've tried and tested it. So you want to make sure that you go into the terminal and then downgrade um, Helmet to 2.3.0 like we did in the last video. So what we want to do is mount this frame guard um, for all routes basically to make sure that any, all the routes can only be accessed um, outside of the frame. And the way we can do that is we can say app.use to mount something for all use. We can say helmet dot uh, frame guard in here. And I think, um, no, there's no capital on the G, so you can just do it like that. And if you look at the uh, frame guard, um, it's got a bunch of options that you can add inside it. So you can put an object in here and you can give this action attribute. And this specifies what, how, um, or like what kind of iframes that um, our page can be loaded from. And with helmet, you get, get two options. You can have same origin, which means that um, if we want to any other um, any other pages with this you with this domain, um, so anything on our own site can I frame any other part of our site. So we can put frames ourselves to load parts of our site, or you can just um, go with deny and deny basically makes sure that iframes aren't allowed from any source at all and. It says here that um, we don't need our app to be framed, so we're not planning to use iframes anywhere. So we want to just make sure that um, we set this to deny. So in here, just put a string saying deny like this. And you want to just go ahead and save that. And it might take some time to be applied. Um, so what I'm going to do now is if I do, um, if I open the developer tools here, and what I'm going to do is just do a hard reload on this page here, because this is a page that we could potentially use for click jacking. So I'm going to do empty cache and hard reload. And um, hopefully what you should see once it loads up is that we now have this right here. And it says there that the site refused to connect. And that's because um, Helmet right here, when we did, um, when we made a request to this root right here, which is the main page, since this is mounted for all routes, Helmet intercepted it and realized that this is being accessed from an iframe and it's like, it's thinking that, oh, this could be used for click jacking. So it basically just outright denies it since we was told it to do that right here. And that's why this is refused to connect. So this will make sure that um, anyone can't just um, pretend to be our website and put it into an iframe to try and trick people into giving away information. So that should be everything you need to do for this challenge. So you can just go ahead and submit the live app URL right here. And you should hopefully see that all the tests have passed. Um, again, if it's not passing, make sure that you're using um, Helmet version 2.3.0 um, and you have to do that. And then if you submit that, you will make see that it passes.